The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Mantanya G. Ramos General Hospital. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, with the theme, A Samaritan Setting. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Words, SVD, together with the Commission on Audit, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the COA Holy Trinity Chapel, Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Luciano Feloni, Chaplain, Commission on Audit, and Parish Priest of Christung Hari Parish, with Reverend Father Bel San Luis, SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass as Concelebrant. Our choir for today's Mass is the COA Holy Trinity Chapel Music Ministry. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we come together for this Holy Eucharist this Sunday in front of Jesus our Lord, let us acknowledge our sins to be ready to be prepared to celebrate worthily these holy mysteries. In a moment of silence, let us recall our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. When the Lord chooses Elisha as prophet to succeed Elijah, Elisha says goodbye to his parents and to his occupation and follows Elijah as his attendant. The first reading will be read by Sister Amelita C. Stephens. A reading from the first book of kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mehola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen he was following the twelfth elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him elisha left the oxen ran after elijah and said please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, he slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song will be sung by Sister Anna Marie de Helecanau.
that delights at your right hand forever. St. Paul explains the true meaning of Christian freedom. Governed by the laws of the Spirit, this freedom operates in love and service. The second reading will be read by Brother Resty A. Ibanez. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters. But do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, rather, Serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, Live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided, by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. And the way they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, 
Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I'll follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to our COA family. Good morning. And uh, good morning sa mga nanonood sa bahay. No? Sa mga nanonood sa ibang bansa. Sa mga nanonood kung saan parte ng mundo. Good morning. Kaway-kaway kayo dyan para makita nila. Kasi wala. Yan. Okay. Hello po. Good morning po. Ako po si Father Luciano Felon. Yang kura paroko ng parokya ng Kristong Hari kung saan na bilang makasakop itong COA Congress Sandigambayan ito is National Government Center along Commonwealth at uh, isang malaking karangalang magdiwan ngayon linggo ang misa para sa inyo i-welcome po natin si Father Bel muli na taon-taon dumadalaw dito sa ating uh, kapilya ng Holy Trinity palagpakan po natin si Father at ang kanyang team Mga kaibigan, dalawahong magandang mensahe na napulot ko sa Ebanghelyong ito. Bagamat marami ang pwede, may dalawa na nagustuhan. Yung umpisa at pagtatapos ng Ebanghelyo. Yung umpisa is, When the days for Jesus being taken up were fulfilled, He resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem. Malinaw sa kanya ng Jerusalem ay ang kanyang pagtatapos. Uh, to walk to Jerusalem is to walk to death. To walk to Jerusalem is humarap sa hirap. Alam niya yon, malinaw yon. Sinabi niya ng paulit-ulit, pinaliwanag. Alam niya na papatayin siya doon sa Jerusalem. At bagamat alam niya, hindi siya umurong. Derecho, resolutely, talagang kumbensido, naglakat patungong Jerusalem. Sa akin, isang napakaganda hong uh, pagninilay dito. No? Ano kaya mga Jerusalem ng buhay ko na tinatago? na ayokong harapin. Maraming beses mayroon tayong mahirap na kailangang harapin at nagtatago tayo dahil takot humarap. No, Many times I experience that. Father, pray over. May nararamdaman ako dito sa akin. Dip-dip. Baka cancer po. Eh, yung family namin may cancer. Kaya ate, nagpatingin ka ba sa doktor? Ay, ayokong malaman. Baka may sakit ako. Tinatago ang pagharap sa Jerusalem. Dahil alam na baka ako ay may sakit. But that's the only way to put a solution, to face and to walk resolutely. Na may alam na kung ito ay plano ng Diyos, ang plano ng Diyos ay sa aking ikabubuti. Na alam tulad ni Jesus na ang Jerusalem ay kung saan ang kalbaryo, ang Jerusalem din kung saan ang pagkabuhay. Malinaw kay Jesus na ang kalbaryo ay magiging platform kung saan siya muling mabuhay. Humarap, hindi umurong. Father, pray mo kami ng asawa ko. Uh, talagang nararamdaman ko, halos kumbensito ako may ibang babae po siya. Talagang andyan lahat ng signs na huli ko ng ilang beses. Kinonfront mo ba siya? Hindi ho, ay, ayoko malaman. Tinatago dahil masakit. Gets nyo? Maraming beso may mga bagay na malinaw na alam na natin na dapat doon tayo tutungo dahil nililit tayo ng Panginoon at alam natin na doon matagpuan ang kalooban ng Diyos but nagtatago. I remember four years ago, five years ago, Paris Priest ako sa Kamarin, yung isang katekista namin napakasipag, napakabait, napaka lahat ng napaka pero katekista, and, and one, once I told him, uh, ba't hindi ka magpare? Eh, hey, hindi, hindi ako karapat-dapat, hindi ako ganito, hindi ako ganyan. Marami siyang excuses. Sabi ko, hanggang kailang pilit mo maging miserable ang buhay mo? 
naging pampagising sa kanya. The following year, to make the story short, pumasok sa seminaryo. He's in fourth year theology. And uh, soon, in one year or two, will be a priest. Minsan kailangan sampalin tayo sa mukha. And I hope na itong ebanghelyo ngayon ay isang sampal sa iyong mukha. Kung may tinatagong Jerusalem, pwede ba magpakatatak ka at humarap sa Jerusalem? Dahil Jerusalem ay binigay ng Diyos sa iyo. Pag humarap ka, hindi ka pababayaan ng Diyos dyan. May plano ang Diyos sa iyo. Pero pag tinatago-tago, walang resolution, walang closure, walang healing, walang lahat dahil hindi ka makarating sa Jerusalem. Ano nga ang Jerusalem ng iyong buhay na kailangan harapin and resolutely walk towards your Jerusalem? Number two, no one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. Mas maganda sa Tagalog. Ang nag-aararo at laging lumilingon ay hindi karapat dapat sa kaharian ng Diyos. At natutunan ko ang ibig sabihin dito nung minsan ako'y nagmisyon sa La Union. And I was talking with sa isang magsasaka. Nagtaka ako bakit yung mga pilapil ay diretsong-diretsyo. Napansin nyo yung mga pilapil sa, sa bukit. Dire-diretsyo po yan. Ginagamit karabaw. Hindi, walang GPS yung karabaw. Eh. Walang computer ang karabaw. Kontraktora, maintindihan mo. May GPS, may... Pero ito karabaw lang. Ba't dire-diretsyo yung talagang pilapil? Parang perfect. Sabi ng magsasaka, Simply Father, pag nag kami, dapat meron kang focal point. Halimbawa, yung mangga na yan. Doon ako titingin. At dire-diretsyo ang tingin ko doon. Hindi ho pwede, dapat mag-focus ang magsasaka. Hindi pwede yung, Oy, pare, kumusta? Oy. Ay, si Mare, anong balita? Kasi talagang yung pilapil ay magiging S. Pag yung pilapil hindi diretsyo, sayan ang butil. Sayang ang butil kasi mahira magtanim na ganyan ang pilapil. And I learned the wisdom of what Jesus said. Kung ikaw ay umaabante but laging umaatras sa buhay. Kung ikaw ay may direksyon na malinaw pero sa kahit anong problema umuurong ka na, hindi ka karapat dapat sa kaharian ng Diyos. Kahapon may kasal ako. Ang entrance song was kahit maputi ang buhok ko. At sabi ng sakristan sa akin, Pats, ang babata nila, ba't kahit maputi ang buhok ko? Well, that's starting with the end in your mind. Alam mo na kasi ganyan ang kasal. Ang kasal, kahit yung ikakasal in their twenties, tatanungin sa hirap ba, sa ginghawa, sa kalusugan, sa ka... Because they will face everything together. Ngayon, pag yung tao ay laging umuurong, pag may problema, walang marating. Halimbawa, yung nasa ko, ha, umabot kung saan kayo ngayon dahil hindi kayo umurong. Pag mayroon kayong kaopisinan chismosa at siniraan ka dahil doon ikaw ay nag-resign, matagal na wala ka sa ko. Ha. Feeling ko may mga chismosa sa ko. Ewan ko kung... Baka wala, baka wala. Ha? Baka wala. Pag ikaw kinasal, tapos may, may, may kapamilya ng husband mo na ayaw sa'yo at dahil doon umurong ka na sa buhay mga kasawa. If you don't learn how to walk forward without looking backward, walang mangyari sa buhay. Let me finish by sharing what I learned from my mom on the day sa huling lamay ng papa ko. Dahil tumagal sila ng ilang taon, papa at mama ko ay opposite Uh, yung, uh, yung ugali nila opposite talaga, personality nila totally opposite uh, yung papa ko ay very positive yung nanay ko ay medyo nega sumalangit naman kaluluwa uh, yung papa ko ay uh, very smiling yung nanay ko ay medyo masungit uh, talagang bungangera yung isa, yung isa so pero tumagal sila na matagal-tagal and, and very lovingly to my surprise and Very lovingly, kasi kahit very opposite, they were very close, very sweet, very beautiful relationship. So nung lamay ni Papa, tinanong ko, Ma, paano kayo tumagal ng ganito? Eh, talagang opposite yung personality nyo. Sabi niya, nangako po kami kasi eh, sa kasal na habang buhay. 
Sabi niya, lumaki ako anak sa panahon na kapag yung sapatos mo'y nasira, hindi po tinatapon kundi may sapatero at ipapaayos, pinalipat yung suelas mo. Pag yung relo ay nasira, may relohero noon na ang trabaho niya ay ayusin ang relo. Ikaw anak lumaki sa panahon na pag may problema ang sapatos, palit, bili ng bago. May problema ang relo, palit, bili ng bago. Sa panahon naming ang nasira ay inaayos, hindi tinatapon. Maraming bes kami ng papamoy naranasan ng crisis. Pero pilit naming ayusing kaysa itapon. Kapag laging lumilingon, hindi ka karapat dapat sa kaharian ng Diyos. Dahil maraming beses sasalubungin ka ng problema, ng pagsubok, ng crisis. If you're always going backward, then wala maratin. Kung malinaw kung anong Jerusalem mo, then walk straight to it. Huwag palikot-likot pa, huwag pabalik-balik pa, huwag paurong-urong pa. Kung malinaw ang Jerusalem, walk to it. Come what may. Hindi ka pababayaan ng Diyos. Sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. I believe in one God. The, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The road to discipleship is marked by difficulties and obstacles. Let us pray to the Father that we may have the courage and perseverance to remain faithful like Jesus as we pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. The prayer of the faithful will be led by Sister Emily Oida. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons be blessed with collaborators in the work of evangelization forming them through Christ, who is at work even today. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May those who serve the country hasten to follow Jesus by reaching out to those who have no resting place, those who suffer from injustice and poverty. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May those who are inclined toward destructive power Strive to take the way of peace and resolve conflicts. May Jesus' words remind them that violence and hatred have no part in Christ's mission. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May young people called to priestly and consecrated life have the resolve of the prophets and of Jesus to persevere in their calling. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May we be worthy to bear the name Christians, 
joyfully accepting the reality of the cross of our lives and giving priority to the values of the gospel, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. Be with us always so that we may remain faithful disciples of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of its name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, Father, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our uh, Bishop Antonio, and uh, our newly appointed Bishop uh, Roberto Gaa, and all the clergy, and all our faithful people gathered here and our televiewers. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the delight of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us sing together with all our confidence the prayer Jesus gave us.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus, you said to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Please look not on our sins, but on our faith, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we who once again are invited to his supper. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, my under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray may this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life o lord we pray so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through christ our lord amen please bow our heads as we join the prayer for the unity of the families to be led by the family of commissioner jose a fabia god, god our, our father loving and merciful bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support infuse in each member the spirit of understanding forbearance and affection for each other keep quarrels bitterness and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's uh, give a round of applause to our family prayer leaders. Please be seated. So, good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Pwede bang uh, tignan ninyo ang inyong mga katabi at sabihin mo sa kanya, salamat, nandito ka, salamat, buhay ka pa. Yan. Uh, uh. Alam niyo po, yung huling pagmisa ko dito ay uh, nung nasa lobby pa ang ating uh, venue. So, I'm very happy. So, matagal na po yun. Ano? Ilang taon na. Kaya konting pagpapakilala lang po. Ako po si Father Bell San Luis, SBD. At um, ako po ay uh, nakatira sa Christ the King uh, Seminary where I have my office in the media. At uh, ako rin po ay uh, taga Ilocos, uh, kabag Ilocos Norte. Mayroon pala kaming mga former students ano, in uh, Divine Word College of Lawag. You know? Kaya kababayan ko po yung dating alam na ninyong dating Pangulo, no? Pero alam po ninyo, kababayan din namin si Jesus Christ. Alam nyo kung bakit? Kasi kung tingnan ninyo yung krusifiho ay mayroong doon sa taas yung karatula at ang nakasulat ay Inri. Ngayon ang ibig sabihin po yan sa amin ay Ilocos Norte Region 1. So, <laughs> So, so kami po ay maswerte, ano, uh, malapit kami sa Panginoon Diyos. Well, anyway, joke lang po yun, hindi yun ang ibig sabihin ng uh, um, um, inri. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, ako po ay uh, executive producer at hindi po kumpleto ang ating misa kung hindi po pasalamatan ang mga sponsors at mga tumulong sa amin dito sa ating uh, TV Mass uh, this Sunday. So, uh, ang uh, principal sponsor po natin ay Commission on Audit and uh, we'd like to uh, thank in particular the Chairperson, Honorable Michael G. Aguinaldo. So, let's give a warm of applause to him and there he's not here. At um, Ang chairman ng Committee on Religious Affairs, Assistant Commissioner Carmela Perez. Thank you very much. At uh, siyempre po, yung ating mas uh, presider, yung uh, uh, 
ating uh, parish priest, uh, the guapong uh, ating uh, <laughs> ang ating uh, pari, uh, parish priest dito, uh, si uh, uh, alam niyo guapo sinabi ko, kung titignan po ninyo ay kumak kamukha ni Sylvester Stallone, ano? Nung bata pa si Sylvester, ano? <laughs> Pero hindi ho siya boxer, ano? Uh, siya ay mabait na pare at masipag na pare. Si Reverend Father Luciano Felone. Thank you very much, Father. <laughs> Talaga naman hangang-hanga tayo kay Father Felone kasi mas magaling pang magtagalog kaysa sa akin. Ang Tagalog ko ay Iloko, uh, Tagalog. <laughs> At uh, siguro uh, yung mga marami dito ay uh, uh, tinatalo ni Father uh, Luciano sa kanyang pagtagalog. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> Ang commentator natin po ay si Atorne Fidela Tan. Maraming salamat, uh, Sister Fidela. At uh, ang family prayer leaders natin, yung uh, family of the commissioner, Jose A. Fabia. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, ang choir naman po natin uh, for their beautiful singing and angelic voices ang COA, Holy Trinity Chapel Music Ministry. Uh, organist and conductor, si Chris Season and Rodney Eric Abuel. Okay, thank you. At yung TVMAS coordinators, uh, COA, Committee and Religious Affairs. Thank you very much. And to all other officials of the Commission and Audit, a uh, big, big thanks to you and to our mass goers here, your beautiful uh, chapel. Uh, talagang uh, ito yung malaki, mayroon, pang, uh, mayroon pa ditong uh, adoration chapel. Pwede na itong uh, maging uh, parokya o mini parish. You know? So, uh, I... We hope that uh, one day it will be the uh, parish of uh, commission and audit. <laughs> well, and <anyway. laughs> mga love offerings palaging ina audit, ano? <laughs> well, wala naman, wala naman mga kwento ng umurakot. <laughs> well, to the mass goers, employees, and staff, lectors, offerers, lay ministers, altar servers collectors, cellar viewers here and abroad, and other sponsors and advertisers. Thank you and God bless you all. Please all rise to ask the Lord for his blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is send it. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Montaña G. Ramos General Hospital.